Okay, great news. I found out how to fix my Core DSX that crashed. Now we're looking at Fuse C97, Fuse 1 C97. It's kind of hard to see because I put tape on here to do the fix that I found on iFixit. And I was able to find that somebody had been able to fix this issue. So what I've done is taken this independent wire. It's not connected to anything except for the fuse. So I'm bridging the fuse essentially. And all I did was tape it in place to see if it works. And indeed it did fix my problem. I don't know if I lost all my settings, but I don't care at this point. I just want a working ESX. So what I'm going to do is as carefully as I can is solder those points in place and I will now have a working ESX. So there we go. It, I didn't have to remove any boards, any ribbons, anything like that. Just open it up, find that chip, and bam, there we go. So this is excellent news. Hopefully I don't botch this soldering job. All right, several attempts of soldering, and here comes the moment of truth. There it is, oh, sweet. We're back in business. Now I think it's gonna reinitialize since it has been disconnected. No, no real no reinitializing. So there we go. Now I'll go test it for sound. But I think we're good to go here. I'm very, very happy about this. Okay. Let's do the sound test now, just to be sure. Oh, that is so nice to see now that I've experienced what a blank screen is like. Let's see it all light up when the time is right. Ah, lovely. So I'm going to pick a pattern here. Something random and just see if it's coming out and if it's coming out in stereo. Not coming out at all until I turn it up on the mixer. Okay, here we go. All right. Works perfectly. I don't have anything on those. Works perfectly and in stereo. So there we go. I'm going to put the iFixit link on how to replace or bridge the fuse that had blown. Allegedly or apparently they were originally 1.25 amp and they should have been 1.5 amp. So this is actually a pretty common issue. And I was able to bridge it within a few minutes and a quick solder, a little piece of wire and a quick solder and my ESX is back to life so thank you for coming on this journey with me and I hope that if you experience this problem you can do the easy fix like I did. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.